stop scrolling. You do not want to miss this if you have breast cancer because there is a new drug available on the NHS that can slow down the growth of stage four breast cancer. Here's what you need to know. So there's a treatment that could give people more months to live before their breast cancer starts to grow. And it's all about a new drug called Capivacetib or TruCap. And I want to show you how it works. In this video, I'll break down what it does, who can take it, and what questions you need to ask your doctor. So don't miss out because this could seriously change your life. To start, let me show you why stopping one tiny protein from working could stop breast cancer from growing. Inside your body is a protein like this pen called AKT. And what this does when it's clicked on is send a message to your cells telling them to grow, to survive, to heal, to repair. Now that's fine when you're healing, but in breast cancer, this gene is permanently switched on. That means the cells are permanently being told to grow and to grow. This is where capivacetib comes in. What this does is stop this pen being able to be clicked. It means it stops the AKT protein being turned on, and that means the cancer cells cannot grow. So 20 years ago, I spent four years researching thyroid cancer to investigate a protein that made them grow quickly. And I am now taking a drug to stop my breast cancer coming back based on that protein. Science really is incredible. And if you're not interested in how this drug was developed and you want to get straight to the point, feel free to move on to the next chapter. But I'd love for you to give me 60 seconds of your life just to see how this drug was discovered. Because back in 2002, scientists at the Institute of Cancer Research cracked the 3D structure of the protein AKT. They figured out how it works and they came up with the design for a drug to block it. And over the next 10, 20 years, scientists with support from Cancer Research UK and Aztec Pharmaceuticals developed a series of drug compounds to, trust, to test. And the winner, developed by AstraZeneca, is the drug Capivacetib. Now, it's been tested in trials led by the incredible oncologist, Professor Nick Turner of the Marsden. And they've discovered that for women and men who are eligible to take this drug, it slows down the growth of breast cancer, giving them an extra seven months of life instead of three before their cancer starts to grow again. And when you have incurable cancer, every single day is precious. But here's the thing, the drug only works if your cancer has a specific mutation. Let me explain. So capivacetib is only for people with stage four breast cancer who are ER positive and HER2 negative. And it's given together with a hormone blocking injection called Fasladex or Fulvestrant. Now that's the bum injections I have in my bum, as I said, every month to stop my cancer coming back. But capivacetib only works in people who have a mutation in one of three genes, AKT1, PIK3CA or PTEN. These genes, when they're mutated, act like a permanent on switch. So it's permanently ready to tell the cells to grow. And what capivacetib does is stop that gene mutation having an effect. Now, I'm really emotional because I found out when I had my second local recurrence that my breast cancer has a PIK3CA mutation. And I know that I am a high risk for having incurable breast cancer in the future. And just knowing that this drug could give me extra months of life if my breast cancer did come back, oh, science is incredible. So this is what you need to know to see if you're eligible for the drug. If you have a stage four breast cancer that's ER positive, HER2 negative, you need to check with your oncologist to see if it has one of those three mutations, AKT1, PIK3CA or P10. Now it's not a blood test, it's a genetic test done on the tissue of your breast cancer that's in the lab. And these days, most cancers are tested automatically if you do have advanced disease, but it's worth double checking to see if you're eligible for the drug. Now Capivacetib or TruCap comes as a tablet that you take twice a day, 12 hours apart. You have it for four days and then you get three days off every week just to let your body recover from the side effects. And whilst it's not chemo, there are side effects. Now, the common ones are nausea, feeling sick, feeling tired, vomiting, mouth sores, a risk of infection. But there are more serious ones such as quite bad diarrhea, a skin rash that can affect your hands and feet and um, a really high level of blood sugar, a bit like a diabetic that hasn't taken their insulin. So you're monitored closely. But the fact that there is a new drug that can give people with these mutations extra months of life is just incredible. So if you or someone you know is living with this type of cancer, 
check with your oncologist to see if you are eligible. At the minute, we think there are about 1,100 people in the UK who could be eligible for this drug to give them extra precious moments with their family. Now, if you don't know what stage four breast cancer means or you want to find out more about breast cancer stages, check out this video and remember to, uh, remember to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. I'm Dr. Liz O'Riordan.